Playing Roderick Montgomery videos on YouTube. Hey, it did it. The Google Nest Hub. Up until now, I never thought you needed a display to go with your smart assistant, although this thing can do a lot of stuff, so it might actually be worth the buck. You get hands-free help at home, but you can also use your hands if you so choose because it does have a 7-inch touchscreen display. It supports voice match, multi-room audio, Bluetooth 5.0, works with Android and iOS, and also 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. Of course, you can use the wake-up phrase to do a plethora of things, including things with your calendar, Google Maps, Nest to look at your cameras, YouTube to watch some videos, maybe you want to cook something, YouTube Music and Spotify to play music while you're trying to get some cleaning done, Google Photos, as well as Google Assistant, of course. When I was looking this up, one of the main things I saw is this is the best digital picture frame because it can pull images from your Google Photos library, display them right here, and rotate through them throughout the day. Kind of the main reason I wanted it, really. Why not? Because we have that 7-inch screen, we have help at a glance. We can command your day, play your favorite song, simplify your smart home, relive your memories, get answers for any moment, as well as make hand-free phone calls. This particular model doesn't have a webcam, so you can't make video calls. Well, you might be able to make video calls, but they won't be able to see you, but you can see them. You know, whatever. Packaging is very nice. I'm very impressed. Hey, this actually looks like the perfect size. I was worrying this one might be a little bit on the small side because they do have a bigger max version, but this one right here looks perfect for a nightstand. Let's pull this thing on out. Oh, nice. All right, got a big beefy speaker here. Inside the box, I have a getting started guide, as well as a power cable, which isn't USB. I thought it would be USB. The Google Home Minis I've been using support micro USB, which I thought was a little bit in the past, but I was expecting USB type C or at least micro USB, but it looks like we got this. This thing actually has some weight to it. It feels very good. The speaker's looking nice. Over on the back, we have the power port along with a little Google logo. Up here, we have an actual physical switch to disconnect the microphone if you want some privacy. Down on the bottom, a nice rubberized grip to keep it nice and gripped on the table so it won't be going anywhere when that bass hits. I'm not sure how much bass is going to have, though. Personally, I think it would look better with a black border, but I guess it is what it is. Right here on the front, we have that 7-inch touchscreen display. It is made out of glass, feels very nice. We have two far-filled microphones to pick up your voice at a distance, as well as a light sensor to adjust for the lighting conditions of the room. Up until now, I've been using this Google Home Mini. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller, no display. The audio quality is all right. I don't really use it to listen to music though. But as you can see, we got the same color scheme going on here, so it'll definitely match up. For some reason, over the past few months, the Google Home Mini's having trouble hearing me, so sometimes I have to scream. So hopefully this hub will have better microphones to pick me up. Oh yeah, we are booting up. The display, you can definitely see the pixels, although from a normal viewing distance, it does look all right. It's not really something you're gonna be using 24 hours a day, so it's not really that big of a deal. Although that display, oh, don't look for pixels, because you'll find them. Oh yeah, I love it already. It's so nice to see what's going on. But you can see for yourself. Look at all that pixel Welcome action. Welcome to Google Home. Oh. Get started. Download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So right now we're going through the setup process. We can personalize our photo frames. So I'm going to choose Google Photos, which will be nice. And then I can go through and choose which photos I want it to display. I'll just choose recent highlights for now. I can't believe I missed this, but we do have a volume rocker right here on the side to easily adjust the speaker volume. All right, so it looks like we're set up. We'll finish setup. Welcome to your Google Nest Hub, the ultimate digital photo frame that does so much more. It's the color and lighting of the room, so photos blend in with it your It actually home. gets up really These loud and actually sounds by good too. And places, which means you can see related photos together. All right, let's do it. First, swipe down hey, to the top of the that's screen. That's me. That's pretty cool. So let's see, we'll swipe down. This is where you can find and control devices in your smart home. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This is where you can control some of the settings for the throughout the day. I'll have new things here <laughs> for you. Hey, show me how to bake croissants on YouTube. Playing quick croissants recipe on YouTube. When you want to go back or exit, you can swipe oh, from the left cool. edge. Go ahead and give it a try. Great job. Bye for now. Thank you, my Google Assistant. So this is actually really nice. I'm digging that. Now. Can you just cycle through pictures somehow? Oh, you can just swipe through like that. Oh, oh, yeah, this is awesome. I'm not sure I want all these pictures showing up on here. I need to figure out how to pick certain ones because <laughs> some of these, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I like this one. Hey, turn off the studio lights. Got it. Turning off two lights. Hey, turn them back on. All right, turning on two lights. <laughs> That's good. The display dimmed when the lights went out. It came back up bright when they're back on. All right. How do you get back to the home screen? 
gonna swipe to the left. All right, you know, really, this display doesn't look bad. From a regular viewing distance, it looks really good. Up close, you can see the pixels, but it's not that bad. The sound quality is really good. Okay, let's try this out. Hey, go play videos by Roderick Montgomery on YouTube. Let's see if we can do it. Playing Roderick Montgomery videos on YouTube. Hey, it did it. <laughs> That actually looks pretty clear. Okay, so I'm gonna get the floor mat. You're gonna hold the coat. You're gonna Do we have options here? Well, you can't adjust resolution or anything, but it looks right. I said nothing. I'm gonna just swipe back. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Hey, play Eminem. Okay, playing Eminem on Spotify. I just what we doing. Eh, it it doesn't sound super amazing, but it sounds better than the mini, which is saying. Not much, but it sounds alright. You know, if you're gonna listen to some tunes real quick while you're cooking, why not? Hey Google, show me photos from Sedona. Showing your photos taken in Sedona. Oh, nice. We can swipe through them. Alright, can we zoom? Okay, it looks like there's no multi-touch functions here. It's pretty basic, but we did get photos from Sedona. Nice. Can't zoom out or something? <laughs> okay, it looks like it's pretty basic when it comes to doing things, but you know, I'm not gonna be using this as a phone or anything. Look at that. I took that whole picture right there. Panoramic. Hey. Oh, wait, here we go. We got search results. Alright, so that's cool. So overall though, I'm really liking this. It's pretty simple. Adds a screen to basically a Google Home Mini with some better sound and hopefully better microphones. It's working pretty well so far at least. Definitely worth it if you want it use it like personally if i was going to get a digital photo frame this would probably be the way to go because it's not only a digital photo frame that pulls your latest and greatest photos from the cloud but you can also watch youtube and do whatever else you want and plus it has the smart assistant built in which is always great because you can't have too many smart assistants around your house right 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 now one of the main things i want to do but i can't do right now because we have a ring doorbell is look at the doorbell feed on here it works with nest doorbells and some other third-party doorbells but for whatever reason i guess because amazon ring isn't supported yet at least hopefully in the future it will be i hope so but for now it's doing good we got the time we got the weather i can do whatever i do with my google assistant now which is great so definitely recommend it if you want a photo frame let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have one. Let me know if you have the Max because I'm curious if that one actually sounds super amazing like the Google Home Max except with a screen because that would be pretty great. Okay.